people involved in popular culture. A lot of us have played games before, but we're restricted to con remote controllers or different kind of controllers. Um, but those tools don't really cross over well into paramilitary or military training because they can reinforce negative uh, muscle memory, m gestures, they can basically form negative training experiences. So it's very important to critically look at the needs of those organizations or groups and then design in a way that make, can make a, an impact in a positive way. The scenarios that they would encounter in VR are purely based on what the RCMP have decided they need to train for. So um, some things that are really important, the first person shooter situation, you enter into VR, you first get a sense of what's happening. Uh, you get to look around the city space. It's an urban environment. And then uh, what we do is the cadet would go into the VR experience and look around and based on their reactions, it's almost like a choose your own adventure situation that happens uh, based on the cadet's reactions, different things unfold within the scenario. I have to say it's one of the most rewarding research partnerships I've worked on in my career. The RCMP is very conscientious of doing the best they can and designing their training in the best way possible. And so this demonstrates to me that they're very dedicated to that as well, the, the whole process of research and development to make sure that they're working in the best way.